The Princess on the Pea Once upon a time there was a prince. He wanted a princess, but she had to be a real princess. So he travelled all over the world to find one, but wherever he went there was something wrong. There were plenty of princesses, but he wasn't quite sure if they were real princesses. There was always something that wasn't quite right. Then he went back home and was so sad, because he dearly wanted to have a real princess. One evening there was a terrible storm. Lightning flashed and thunder roared. The rain poured down. It was simply dreadful. Then there was a knock at the town gate, and the old king went to open it. There was a princess standing outside. But good Lord, how she looked because of the rain and terrible weather. Water was streaming from her hair and her clothes, running in the toes of her shoes and out of the heels. Then she said that she was a real princess. Well, we'll see about that, thought the old queen, but she didn't say a word. She went into the bedroom, took off all the bedclothes, and placed a pea at the bottom of the bed. Then she took twenty mattresses and put them on top of the pea, and another twenty eiderdown quilts on top of the mattresses. That's where the princess was to sleep that night. The next morning they asked her how she had slept. Oh, dreadfully, said the princess. I hardly closed my eyes all night. Lord knows what there was in my bed. I was lying on something hard, and I'm black and blue all over. It's simply dreadful. Then they could see that she was a real princess, since she had felt the pea through those twenty mattresses and those twenty eiderdown quilts. No one else could have such tender skin except for a real princess. And so the prince took her as his wife, because now he knew that he had a real princess. And the pea was placed in the royal curiosity cabinet, where it can still be seen today, as long as no one has taken it. Now you see.